This is the introduction video for absolute value functions. Uh, in algebra and pre-calculus, we talk about, uh, about six very specific types of functions. And absolute value functions is the first of the six that we're going to discuss. Um, an absolute value function is a function uh, that has what's called a parent function. The parent function is like the basis of that entire function family. And the basis of the entire absolute value function family is f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. In a previous video, I talked about different types of transformations that we can have on functions. So this is like the basic uh, absolute value function, and then we can do things to it that will change either the location of this, it might shift it in the coordinate plane, it might flip it upside down, it might stretch it or shrink it, um, but this is what's called the parent function for absolute value functions. This is the parent function. Values. And it's going to be really handy to know what this graph looks like um, so that way we know what the, the shifts will, will have, uh, look like too. So if we're going to graph, if you don't know what the graph looks like, it might be helpful to, to start out with a table of values. For this table of values, I would suggest using negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 for x. If we plug in negative 2, what is the absolute value of negative 2? The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. The absolute value of 0 is 0. The absolute value of 1 is 1. And the absolute value of 2 is 2. On a graph, negative 2, 2, negative 1, whoa, where am I graphing? Negative 2, 2, let's try that again. Negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. So this particular function looks like the letter V. It has a sharp point at the origin at 0, 0. There's a sharp point. I sometimes refer to that particular point as the vertex. And basically, when I'm looking at transformations of absolute value functions, I usually will identify the vertex and see where it's moving in the coordinate plane. So this is a really important point, this point 0, 0. Um, in this particular case, it's a minimum. And again, with the absolute value function, it is a sharp point at 0, 0.